Hello, this is uh, your friend, Pastor Roy, and I'm still here in recovery mode after uh, surgery and um, enjoying my quiet time and a lot of time for contemplation. Right now I'm contemplating the, uh, the death, life and death of Stephen Hawking. Uh, a man of uh, a brilliant uh, scientific mind, uh, as I understand, I have read some of his work, uh, and also contemplating him as a philosopher. Uh, his scientific mind, understanding, seems to be with with uh, without doubt. However, his conclusions seem to be uh, pre-programmed because of his world view or his basic philo philosophical outlook. Uh, I understand that uh, in his book, he, uh, he demeans uh, philosophy as a uh, dying discipline. On the other hand, he begins to philosophize based on his uh, scientific um, ideas and his uh, superimposing those upon his worldview. He comes to certain conclusions like there is no God. God does not exist. Now, this does not encompass all knowledge or all wisdom. Science is a discipline uh, that's based on observation, measurements, and uh, calculations that endeavors to uh, uh, help us to come to some conclusions, but uh, certainly does not include uh, psychology, philosophy, um, arts, music, and many other aspects of life, law, uh, medicine, and uh, so it, it seems to me it would be kind of premature for anybody who is brilliant in one of those disciplines to extrapolate across all disciplines and come to the enormous conclusion that there is no God. Uh, agnosticism would probably be the, the best that anybody could come up with that we're not sure or I don't know. But for those of us who are believers in Jesus Christ, number one, I'd like to say that my faith in Jesus Christ is not based on scientific evidence. But I sure like it when scientific evidence supports my faith in Jesus Christ. The encounter that I had as a young man in my freshman year in college uh, put my faith and said, it's not negotiable. I encountered someone whose reality supersedes every other reality. And uh, I will never put that up for negotiation. That's just, uh, that's just part of who I am today. However, having said that, I did study uh, science and mathematics. I, I love the study of science. I enjoy it even to this day, especially going smaller and smaller into the DNA molecule and even the helix upon which the information in the DNA molecule is um, impressed and then going out 
further and further and larger and larger into the cosmos, into the universe, both extremes further and further, larger and larger, and smaller and smaller and smaller, are absolutely mind-boggling, incomprehensible, at least to this human mind, and it cries out and declares that there is God, there is a creator. And of course, I have settled that uh, years ago, both in my, in my heart, should I say, and also uh, in my research and uh, search, uh, really to find uh, science and scientists, scientific knowledge and scientists who are men of faith and who have placed their faith and their trust in the Lord Jesus Christ or at least confess that there is a creator. And of course, I have gone beyond whether or not there is a creator to the acceptance of Jesus of Nazareth as being God the Son manifest in flesh who came to earth to become my savior and the savior of the world. And so recently in contemplating the death of uh, um, Billy Graham and juxtapose him um, against our uh, scientists who recently departed, we say, who lifted the world better? Who ennobled mankind? Who brought love and forgiveness and understanding to the world? Who strengthened people? Who weakened them? Who fostered hope? Who fostered suicide? Uh, who fostered faith and... and uh, aspiration or who fostered desolation and annihilation and uh, therefore the insignificance of human life as opposed to yes the significance of human life and I say you know the 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 the, the, uh, the evidence has been presented before the jury and the judge and the the verdict has been issued and the judge has uh, gaveled the courtroom into order and has announced, yes, those who are of faith lift human beings and those without faith who declare human beings just to be another form of animal life is it any wonder that suicide rates are climbing and uh, men, men are without the fear of God and without the fear of the law? Well, it's an interesting time. But anyway, these are some of the meanderings of my thought life at this time. And a deep hunger and thirst. To say, I want to know you, Lord. I want to know you. I want to see you. I want to bow before you. I want to comprehend. I want to understand. And the Bible very clearly says that to know the love of Christ, which is beyond comprehension. But one day I will know. And you will, you will also. And so God richly bless you. And thanks for listening. Goodbye. And God bless you.